second way to share a file in PowerPoint is to click File with your PowerPoint in front of you, Share, and Save to SkyDrive. And in this case, you have to have a Windows Live ID, like a Hotmail or an MSN. If you have that, then you can log in here. And once you've signed in, your presentation will be saved to that SkyDrive. And you can send somebody a link to that SkyDrive. And they can view it or download it from there. All right, here's my PowerPoint that I want to share. So I'm going to go to File, Share. I know we covered this in the last part, but let's just review. I'm going to Save to Sky Drive. It's going to save it as the same title as my PowerPoint, Process for Event Planning, Process for Event Planning. I've already signed in with my Hotmail account. So I'm going to tell it to share in the public folder and save. And of course, it's already there because I've done this before, so I'll tell it to replace. Now I'm going to switch to the internet and I've logged in to my Hotmail account. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to click on Windows Live and go to my SkyDrive. From my SkyDrive I'm going to go to public because that's where I saved that particular PowerPoint. I'll click on process for event planning. And once the PowerPoint has loaded, I'm going to click Share. I'm going to look at the public folder again and notice the web address. I can copy this, triple clicking, going to edit, copy, and send that link to anybody that I want. I can add a comment. Feel free to down load this file and that should be it. It's a way to take your PowerPoint that might be too large to share and send it from one computer to another.